Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to cover using Moonlight, which is a client for using NVIDIA's game stream protocol and using that to stream games from your computer to your TV. We will use a Raspberry Pi for this, so you will need a Raspberry Pi. You will also need a decent internet connection. I'm only going to cover wired connection here, but you know, it's just about connecting your Raspberry Pi that's going to be different, so I'm sure you can figure it out if it's Wi-Fi you're using, but I do strongly recommend wired connections for something like this. And well, other than a Raspberry Pi, you don't really need anything else as long as your PC supports it, which means as long as you have a decent enough GeForce GPU. So without further delay, let's get started. The first step is to download and install Raspbian on your SD card for the Raspberry Pi. What you can do is just download the Raspberry Pi imager from the raspberrypi.org slash downloads and from there you can watch the Pi imager. Just choose your SD card and the Raspberry Pi OS which used to be Raspbian back in the day and just say right. This will take some time so I'll come back to you once it's done. It's now done. It instructs you to remove the SD card from your card reader. But before we actually plug this into your uh, Raspberry Pi, just remove and plug back in your SD card so that it shows up in here. And in your boot folder, just add a empty file called SSH. This will allow you to remove the SSH into your Raspberry Pi without actually enabling it first through the software. So it's just the easy way of doing this. And now you can unplug your SD card and plug it to your Raspberry Pi. It's now time to plug in your Raspberry Pi. So I've already done that. I've run the Ethernet cable and the HDMI cable and the power to here. Now I just have to plug in the SD card and, and power this and everything should work. And I forgot to mention, if you have one, plug in your uh, wireless adapter for your uh, wireless keyboard. Or if you're using a wireless uh, controller that doesn't use Bluetooth, plug in your adapter right now as well. And we will configure the software to use it properly. Next step is SSHing into your Raspberry Pi. If you don't already have it, just download and install PuTTY from PuTTY.org. Next we need to know your Raspberry Pi's IP address. Use whatever method you prefer. I just you like using the DHCP settings on my router. So this is the IP address for my Raspberry Pi. And with this you can just trust. Log in with Pi as the username, Raspberry as the password. Now run Raspberry config. Then change the password for your user for Pi. So the next step is to actually install the Debian packages for this. So you want to sudo nan nano and edit this file. And what you need to do is just add another line to the end of it. It's this. Now con control X, Y to save, then enter for the file name. Now we need to install a package, so just use this command. All of these will be linked in the description, by the way. And again, run this key. Uh, this. Now run sudo apt-get update, and then sudo apt-get upgrade. This just makes sure your Raspberry Pi is up to date. Okay, after waiting a decade for this process to run, next we can install Moonlight Streaming, so just... Type this command, 
and enter here and wait for it to install. One last thing before we move on to trying this out is making sure your NVIDIA game stream is turned on for that just launch GeForce experience. Go to settings, shield and make sure game stream is turned on. So right now you go to your Raspberry Pi near your TV and uh, I'm just going to simulate that by connecting it via VNC just because it, may, it will make recording easier. On your Raspberry Pi open the command line and type moonlight pair and then your computer's IP address. Now it will come up with a pin and it will also sh show down there. Just enter your pin in the GeForce dialog there. And well, after doing that, you're good to go to actually start streaming. Yeah, enter basically the same command, but instead of pair, just use stream. Next, assuming you are using a Bluetooth controller, you want to pair it with your Raspberry Pi. But before you do it, you need to disable ERTM. And well, to do that, you just need to create a new file. So just enter this command. And inside it, place this text. Then Control X, close. Y to save and then enter and then reboot your Raspberry Pi but by typing reboot I'm not going to execute this but this will reboot your Raspberry Pi after it is rebooted the next step is to go to your Bluetooth services and add device your Xbox One controller will show up in here as long as you put it in the pairing mode just wait a few seconds and once it pops up, select it and press pair. Once the blinking light has stopped blinking on your Xbox One controller, it worked. There is one last thing I want to cover and that is your streaming settings. You do have various settings that you can configure to make sure about resolution, bitrate, stuff like that. To see a list of that, type Moonlight help and it will come up with everything you need now if you want to not type a command every time you want to stream a game what you can do is create a file on your desktop so what you need to do is just use cd desktop to navigate to your desktop and then use this command and inside it just enter these two lines the dash 1080 means that uh, um, I set the stream to 1080p and this is my computer's IP address so it's basically the same command with the parameters we need again control X Y and then enter I didn't change anything that's why it didn't pop up this time and we also need to give it the executable rights to do that just type sudo chmod plus x stream.sh and then press enter this will give the file the ability to execute and from then we can actually stream some games once you double click and execute it give it a few seconds you will see that we can stream from the computer There we go. It takes a few seconds, but that's normal. And once it's connected, everything is working fine. Again, to exit, you can just use Control Shift Alt Q. Now it's time to actually play some games here. So let's open the library and play some Fall Guys.
Yes, I know. I suck at this game, but hopefully that was a good demonstration for you about the game streaming working. There was some lag noticeable from playing the game, but that is to be expected. Obviously, this is going over the network. And overall, as long as you're not playing anything too competitive, you should be fine. I did okay with my run. Not that much worse than what I do on the computer, which is, well, perfectly acceptable for a game streaming system like this. And as the NVIDIA game stream service gets better, this should get better as well. Also, as long as your network is good, this should be better as well. My router actually adds a lot of uh, lag to the network in general. I have lag accessing my Octoprint and stuff like that. My router isn't the greatest in the world, so again, if you have something better, it should also be better. And right now you're seeing my cat fighting the tripod. Uh, he did not enjoy having the tripod in the room. I tried to film a lot more in front of the TV, but it never worked thanks to him. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please leave me a like down below. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments down below. I'll also link their Discord and their GitHub page so where you can get help as well. And well, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.